too deep. All right, you ready? Sure. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Good fish, though. I'm kind of iffy on this. Me too. It's not horrible. Give me another bite. Son. My name is Michelle. So we are out and about. It is payday and we're gonna go get a bite to eat. We were trying to grocery shop but neither one of us really felt it. <laughs> like, yeah. We were just not, it was not going good. So we did, we literally had like six or seven cold things. We put them all back in the cold, in their spots, in the cold spots and just checked out with the other items that we had because I didn't want to have to try to hunt those down again. And so we're going to go get a bite to eat. I'm going to record it because Dairy Queen has these new chicken, uh, is it chicken parmesan something or other, garlic parmesan or just parmesan. And then the other one is um, some sort of sweet barbecue. So like sandwiches or chicken? They're like chicken nuggets. I don't think they're actually wings. I think they're like chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. Uh, so we're gonna go get some of those and we'll head over to the park and give them a try uh, and so yeah we're gonna do a video about it please what I'm trying to break into the car uh, please um, excuse the lack of makeup you guys the, please you're adorable the past the past two weeks and past three days have been rough for me so um, just trying to get through and makeup was not an option today <laughs> so and I honestly didn't plan on recording anything and then we were trying to figure out what we wanted to eat I didn't even bring my camera I'm actually using hubby's hopefully and actually this camera, the trash camera. is the trash camera that um, broke so badly that we finally bought hubby a new camera of what over a year ago yeah and so this one's been sitting in whatever box he had it in and then the other day when we had Beckett Beckett wanted to play with our video cameras I'm like baby do you still have one of those old ones and he's like yeah so he brought it out and of course Beckett's smart enough to know that when he flips that open it should do something now it wasn't doing anything I said well let's put a battery on it and see what it'll do the daggone thing came on and started working <laughs> yeah. so uh, he brought it with him today to do some of his stuff which and, I haven't been doing which he hasn't been doing <coughs> I just, I just, it just, something told me, just take the camera. Just take the camera, and now look, here we are. And so, uh, now we're going to use it to record this video, and to kind of give you guys a backstory, yesterday, alright, so today is February 29th, happy leap, leap day year, everybody. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> I don't keep track of shit like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway, um, I'm lucky to know what regular February, date is. February 27th was the one year of Daddy's passing, and uh, couple that with being sick, and my battle with depression is not going so well. And uh, then yesterday, the 28th, hubby went to start the van. Nothing, nothing happened. And then we, he was able to get it jumped, but we were thinking the alternator was bad. Anyway, we had them both tested. They're saying they're both fine, but we did find out that there was a cable that was basically not connected. They were loose. They were loose. And the, they both tested fine, but it, it's, it just sent my anxiety and my depression like through the roof. And yesterday was not a good day for me at all but anyway um here nor there it is knock on wood running okay it's been starting okay hopefully with 
reconnecting that wire correctly, um, it'll be just fine and no worries. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go order this food and go to the park. Oh yeah, I wanna show you the menu thingy when we get over there, so I'll, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have Hubby hold the camera because I can't. Today, I'll be with you in a minute. That's fine, thank you. You just want to get one of each. Yeah. And then I'm going to get a peanut buster parfait because you're a Dairy Queen and when you're a Dairy Queen you have to get ice cream. Those are the rules. I don't make the rules. I just follow most of them. So anyway, ooh, that salad bowl looks really good too. Alrighty, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that was an expensive endeavor. <laughs> but, you know, we do it once a month. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get you set somewhere. Um, yeah. So he showed you the... They seriously only put like two napkins in here? Literally two napkins for finger food that is messy. Hold on, monkeys. Let me get this napkin situation dealt with. Thankfully, your girl's a napkin hoarder. And I got some good napkins in here, too. Alright, so this is the barbecue. barbecue. And you had a choice of four or six piece. And here's what they look like. And then it comes in the regular like chicken basket where you get the fries and the toast and we always get gravy with ours because because gravy is the bestest gravy. i just need this part out and then here's the chicken garlic parmesan look at all that sauce on that one mm. okay so i gotta figure out how to do this so you can see both of us did they send us little forks how nice of them all right, we're gonna do the Parmigiani one first. I'm just gonna break a piece off. Maybe. There we go. No, hold on, I gotta do this where we can both be visibles. Hold on, guys. You're gonna you're gonna go on a ride. The other thing with this camera is I gotta be a little careful because there's no covering on the battery. All right, you got your piece ready? I want us to taste them at the same time. Did I not just say, how am I gonna do this so I can get us both at the same time? Silly goose. It smells delicious. Shouldn't have smelled it too deep. It kind of smells funky when I smell it too deep. All right, you ready? Sure. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> that fish, though. I'm kind of iffy on this. Me too. It's not horrible. I need another bite. Mm. It's just kind of nah. Right? Like I've had worse flavors. But. It's not horrible. It's not coming off very Parmesan to me. I'm getting a lot of garlic. Our breath is going to be nasty. That's all right. I don't know, it's just, I guess it's okay. Maybe it's the mood I'm in. No, it might be. I don't know. We're both I, kind of in funky moods. Is that going to sit there for that sit there? It might. Yeah, it'll sit. yeah, that's another thing about this camera. It doesn't have any ability to sit on anything. Yeah, I can't. I'm just going to put it under it right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need this off my fork. <laughs> I need so many things right now. That's too far. There's okay. Don't mess, don't mess with it. <coughs> okay. I don't know. So, it's not something that I'm like, you know? Yeah. But, it's not something that I'm like, oh, I have to have that again. Like, that has to happen again. All right, so now let's do the, the honey barbecue one. 
I will say their chicken is tender. It's true. Had it? <laughs> Oopsie. All right, two bites. You ready? Mmm. Now that one I like. It's better. Mmm. I like that one. You got stuff on your lip, baby. Your napkins are right there. Yeah. Definitely better than the garlic, the garlic parm. Mm. Mm. I have to, I have to grudgingly admit you're right. <laughs> grudgingly, it's terrible. Well, thing I, had, I had high hopes for that Parmesan garlic. Yeah. Yeah, because you tend to like that stuff better than I do. The garlic it just and Parmesan type stuff. I just don't think it didn't really uh, pop. No. I think I'm gonna stick with the French fries. <laughs> okay. The toast and. And then the other thing that we got is the peanut pasta parfait. Now, I remember when they came out with these. Do you? Yes. This is a Dairy Queen staple, much more so than a Blizzard. Mmm. Always nummy. Would you like a bite, my love? No. No? No. Okay. I thought about getting a, a banana split, but... Mm. Another Dairy Queen staple. Long before the blizzards were out, right? <laughs> okay, guys. And the, Okay, should I show them the fries and the toast? Fries and toast. Do you guys want to see me eating the fries and toast? I mean, it's just fries. It's not nothing new. So I can't decide. The garlic parm on scale of one to ten. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. I give it a three. I was gonna say a four point five. Okay. And to uh, me, three is still is like barely edible. No. Uh, 4.5 is fairly edible. I say three on the parm, and I give the barbecue one a five. Oh, I give this one a seven easily. Yeah. And I'm only saying seven because, hold on, I feel a cough coming on. <coughs> <coughs> um, no, I'm gonna give it an eight. My only two caveats are, um, I like my bar my sweet barbecue sauce to be really sweet, and this isn't really sweet to me. Now, granted, everybody's you know everybody has different palates, so my sweet is not as sweet as yours, or my sweet is sweeter than your sweet. Way, because I think that is sweet. Yeah, that's what I was getting to ask you: is do you think it's it, sweet? It's very sweet. So, but um, it, and it also um, I'm trying to think of the right word. It held its crispy factor nicely, which is a big thing for me and barbecue chicken. As you guys might or might not know, I do a barbecue chicken. A very, very good one. And my barbecue chicken is begged for by people in my family and friends. Um, there's actually a really cool story with my barbecue chicken from when we used to go to a friend's house and watch UFC fights all the time. I wasn't allowed in unless I was carrying my barbecue chicken, and that's the honest to God's truth. Chad would stand right in front of that door and be like, where's the chicken? I'd be like, it's right here, or Richard's got it, because, and I could never bring enough. It didn't matter if I made 10 pounds. It didn't matter if I made 20 pounds of chicken. Uh, they always ate it all, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, It even, was. Because we were we were fighters, mm -hmm. and even the, even the guys that had fights coming up that weren't supposed to be we eating We weren't supposed to be eating stuff, crap like that. They would still eat it. It was funny. All right, I'm gonna. Can I go in for more? I'll, get, I'll share my chicken with you. You don't have to eat all that by yourself. We, we can split it up. It just doesn't get any better, does it? Nope. <laughs> as a matter of fact, it kind of gets a little bit not as good, right? Like the more you eat it, the less better it is. See, that's where I'm having a little quandary. Okay. I think after I eat it, 
the taste is a little better than while I'm eating it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And then when you go to take another bite, you're like, oh, wait, it's not as good as I was yes. thinking it was going to be. Yes. Isn't that weird? Yes. Okay, so we both experienced that. Yes. So yeah. while you're eating it, you're it's like, not quite, it's mm -hmm. kind of, and then once, like once I swallow it and everything and my brain processes, it's like, oh, that was pretty that good. That was pretty good. Let's have another bite. And then I take another bite and, and then it's like, back to, eh. Oh, wait, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that went that way. No, we both were on that same boat. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to. I'm gonna go down there and. That is so weird. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this before he gets out. I'm gonna go to the creek and focus on shoveling food down my throat, which is helping my mood tremendously, by the way. Fantastic. Um. So, for those of you that also don't know, hubby and I are very codependent. Yes. Uh, maybe too much so on some levels. Uh, we're a single person. When one of us is feeling like shit, the other one feels it, and I don't mean just has empathy. I mean we truly feel. Yes. What the other one is feeling. So when one of us feels like emotionally drained and down, it brings down the other as well. And even though we try to be, a, sorry, that was gross. <laughs> try to be uplifting to one another, and we try to, and he is mega supportive when I need him to be like that. Um, I, honest to God, could not ask for a better uh, partner in my life, a better friend than this guy right here, because uh, he definitely. He doesn't hold it against me. He doesn't yell at me for it. He doesn't get shitty and smart and snorty with me. Um, yesterday, bless his heart, it didn't matter what he said. It, it cut somehow or another. It just, it, it hurt. Um, and he finally just said, okay, I'm going to quit trying that route because that's not working. So, because um, usually sometimes his goofiness will help me snap out of my funk. And yesterday it just actually seemed to make it a little bit worse not any fault of his own he cannot you know that's not his fault that my brain was going through whatever it was going through and so i just i love you love you garlicky garlicky breath garlic kisses all right guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs> big hugs much love oh so i'm doing this on the garlic parm can it uh, but I'm doing this for the barbecue. It's good. Yep. He's in. <laughs> Big hugs. Much love. Bye.